Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today we have graced the set with such elegance and richness. First, off by our special guest, Chef George Perrier himself. It is wonderful to have you once again in our wonderful kitchen here. It's a pleasure to be here and because I love to teach. Yes, you do, and you're passionate about it. Yeah, passionate and about everything, unfortunately. Yeah, well, that's it's okay. It's good and not good in life. Our viewers but... enjoy it and we enjoy it too. Yeah. And also, we have the honor to be working with Rostelli Foods today. Yes, so... and I can see all oh, this, uh, this uh, beautiful saumon, the... Uh, Impeccable. Uh, and this see? beautiful filet with Angus, Angus Beef, and, and I'm glad to see Rusty is giving me this beautiful fill of beef. And Let's you can look see. At it. And, and Angus is my favorite beef because in France, Angus is very big. Angus, yes. We have the beef du Charolais, but we have a lot of things. But first of all, this is has no antibiotic. Yes, no antibiotics. And, 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 and I think it's pure. And I am you are fighting this for many years because this is very important. And the saumon that they bring also. Scottish salmon and makes Scottish. a difference. And also this is organic. Maybe after the show, we're gonna talk to him. Maybe if he give me this for uh, $5 a pound, oh, we can do this forever, <laughs> oh my God. We'll have to talk to Ray. So I think we're gonna have to talk to Ray and see what kind of prices he can <laughs> make. What is our menu for so today? So we're gonna do a filet of beef. Yes. Uh, and we're gonna do a, a, a pen sauce. Yes. On the minute, on the pen. A la minute. A la minute. Mm -hmm. And the people can do that. And I show you how to do that. And we're gonna we're gonna serve that with uh, spinach. Okay. And purple potatoes. I showed you also a new trick that I developed a couple months ago. Yes. When you go to a restaurant, you eat basmati rice. It's so beautiful. This rice from the Himalaya, with the best rice in the world. Yes, And basmati. you eat in a restaurant, and you take the rice, when you eat on your plate, you can take the rice like this, you make a bowl with it, and <laughs> <laughs> Like a baseball bat, you throw it out the wall, and it crap, <laughs> it stayed there, it's so horrible. So now this is a new technique that some other restaurant people are watching with. I'm a very shy, but not shy when it comes to food. You are very shy. I'm gonna tell them how to cook a rice, then the rice will never be overcooked. We're gonna make a sauce for the saumon. Okay. So I showed you, uh, are you vegetarian? What no, you? I, e no, I eat it all. Thank so goodness, because I would not be able to. Now we do in the restaurant, because we do a lot of sauce, because a lot of people are vegetarian. Yes. So we use vegetable stock that we have here. Okay. Or we have a chicken stock that we have here. Which one you wanna to use today? I would, I would love to use the chicken stock, because I think it's probably you more flavorful. You chicken stock? We use yes. chicken stock. Okay. So you take a little chicken stock. We're going to make a sauce for four to six people. Okay. So you see, I got this pot. We put chicken stock because we want that to reduce an aloe. Okay. So we start our sauce. Very simple. Sauce are very simple. You take a shallot. Yes. And you chop, chop the shallot like this. Not even chop it like this. So not, you're not chopping it finely? No, not fine. Okay. And you put the shallots in here. You see, one shallot. Then, yes. Then you take a lemon. That's it. And we're going to use a quarter of the lemon. Okay. And then we're going to... So just a quarter. Push. We're going to put the juice of the lemon. Okay. And then we're going to cut this knife. And we put, put this on the sauce. Then okay. we're going to take a little bit of fresh thyme. So essentially an eighth of the lemon you actually put yes, right into the sauce. Yes, an eighth of the lemon because I don't want to make too much soup. We make okay. it for four to six people. Fresh voilà. thyme? And then we're going to put half a thyme, fresh thyme, half a thyme. Then, ah. when this is done, we put this on the stove. And then we make it cook, we cook it, and I show you how long we cook it, uh, and what do we do with it. And you're so gonna bring this to a boil, That's number chef? one. Now, number two, we're gonna think about doing the rice for the saumon. Now we're gonna take vegetable stock. So this is the proper way to cook rice. And we're rice. gonna put a little bit of vegetable stock like this. Vegetable stock. We're gonna boil the stock. We're gonna take the rice here, we're gonna cook uh, we're gonna make one saumon, so we're gonna cook about three, four spoons of rice. Okay. We're gonna put here, but we cannot cook the rice until this is boiling. Ah. So when the stock is boiling, you're gonna put the rice and you're gonna take your watch. You have yes. a watch? Yeah, I do. And you're gonna count three minutes. After three, three minutes. Three minutes. We're gonna strain the rice on the strainer. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. We're back with more from Rostelli Foods. We have to get our potatoes ready. 
These are purple potatoes. Oh, I potatoes. forgot something. Ah. The most important thing. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. And this is for our filet? This is for, no. No? This is for the sauce. Ah, okay. So one mushroom, you see, you put on the sauce here, right here. Like say. Okay? I showed you how ah, to make Ah, look, here we have a chef. special visitor. Yes, like sir, that. see you. Ray Rostelli, how have you been, okay? I'm so happy to meet you. Good to you know, see you because I know after today, my life's got to change. Because finally, I'm going to make money in the restaurant business. <laughs> I'm going to good prices. That's a lot of responsibility, Ray. Yeah, that's good. Very good to see you, Ray. Great <laughs> right to see you. Wonderful to have you here enjoying your it's a impeccable pleasure. quality products. It's a here pleasure. We feel set. honored that the uh, chef is. Uh, is gracing us with his presence to, to show, yeah, uh, show know, the public I'm, I'm really so, how to use this product. And he so speaks so highly of them to also. See, to see this. So now, are we going to cook two filets today? And you know, this is not, there's something you do not know, but I learned that when I was a young man in France. A nice tip and is coming. And the filet, you never take a filet of beef and cook it from the refrigerator. Ah. You leave it outside to the meat to get room temperature. You see, he knows I know meat. That's it. I'm not those cobbler in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, the cobbler The cobbler reference. George Pellier you know a little bit about food. <laughs> he so sees gonna, it in the eyes. We're going to salt this filet like this. Nice, and we're going to pepper with this because it's got more flavor. A little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. So very simple, as you were saying in the very beginning, chef, simple. keeping it very simple. Okay. Now, Ray, not all labeled Angus beef is the same. Is well, that correct? Yeah, that's very true. You know, Angus has... Uh, has a, a pretty wide varying uh, range. Uh, our Angus beef is a purebred Angus beef, which means 100% of those steers are purebred Angus. In fact, each one of those steers are tested for its authenticity. Ah, so strict guidelines. Very, very strict yes. guidelines uh, for that product. As well, those, those animals are fed nothing but food that we would eat. So if we would eat it, our animals would eat it. As we all know, we, are, yes. we eat, our animals are what they eat. So and you, you actually are very scientific in your approach to proving how well this, this, these animals are. You do DNA testing, is that correct? We do. We do DNA testing uh, prior to uh, harvesting any of those animals, making sure the purebred strain is all the way through those animals. Mm. Uh, we then harvest those animals in a very humane system. And in fact, all of our animals are antibiotic-free, steroid-free, and hormone-free. So it's very important for the consumer today. Hallelujah. Yes. I give yes. you a medal. Hallelujah. You should have a medal. <laughs> Thank and you. this coming Thank from George Perrier, what wonderful. an honor, truly. That, absolutely. How many cattle do you have, Ray? We have about 110,000 head of cattle. Wow. We harvest about 2,500 on a weekly basis. And you describe your approach uh, to providing these products as a vertical approach. Yes, it's, you know, vertical integration for our operation is very critical. Uh, years ago when we, when we got in the meat business, and that was 35 years ago, wow. uh, we were dealing with the same meat that every other provider was dealing with. So what we found that we were basically at the mercy of whatever the large processors processed. So about 15 years ago, we decided to get into the cattle business, start to raise our own cattle, making sure that what we put in the box for chefs like uh, Mr. Perrier the product was what we said it was going to yes. be. And now we do have vertical integration from beginning to end. You can yes. call me George, please. George. Because they embarrass me when you say, Monsieur. I remember, I'm only a cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> we will never forget that reference. Never the, cob the cobbler was make all these chefs now, the Greg Leban makes so famous. Pierre Camel, uh, Matthew Levin, they all work for me. I am the only chef in the city of Philadelphia, New York. The cobbler chef, the guy who goes to the market at 4 o'clock in the morning to pick up this produce because I, I, I always want the best. And for me, when I cop, they always give me the best yes. and try to go the best. There is, I'm the only one, no other chef that I know in this town mm -hmm. goes to the market at 4 o'clock in the morning. And, and, it, and it shows in the product you produce. Absolutely. And the product so, you provide to us. Yes. So, Ray, well, yeah. you'll be joining us back for the tasting. I will And we'll be. talk more about some of your the, products. You know, I'm, I'm very nervous when I see the owner of the company. Because I'm wondering if the food's going to be good. Oh, well, oh, we have 12 sure. minutes left, Chef. Do you think we have time? Better, I will see you on, the, on, the, on you the back bet. side. You bet. Thank you very much, Thank Ray. You. Because we're talking, we're talking. We're not we're moving. Well, there's a lot to talk about So, now. let's see a little bit of oil in here. This is just, is this vegetable yes, oil? Yes, and a little bit of butter, vegetable oil. Okay, okay. We're vegetable gonna oil this. and butter, both. We're going to saute the potatoes. And because we have 12 minutes to cook, we better, this, we better hurry. get this meat going. So okay. here I want to put three spoons of... Um, three spoonfuls of... This is yeah, basmati rice. One, two, three, four. Put four. Four, okay. Yeah, and count three minutes. And after three minutes, we strain her. And we recover the juice, okay? 
We'll be right back with more from Rostelli Foods. You can now at home order the same steak, seafood, pork, veal, lamb, poultry that the finest steak houses, seafood houses, and poultry houses around the world are ordering from us for the last 35 years. I'm going to do two saumon, too, why not? Okay. So, we're gonna... so surf and turf today on the chef's kitchen. Surf and turf. A la Rastelli and yeah, Georges la... Perrier. Yeah, surf and turf a la Rastelli. Oh, that, you know what that is? That's going to give me free meat for a year. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Free meat for a year. Oh, my God. We're going to saute these potatoes in here. See, we're going to make it crispy. We have the... Uh, the carrots here. That so we're baby put carrots. On the rice, baby carrot. And this is going to go into our rice. Rice, yes. Okay. It's pickle to give a different flavor. Okay. How about my rice, sweetheart? I think we're done. You sure? Yeah. I'm, according to my no. clock, I three minutes. I hope my clock is right today yeah. of all days. Well, if it comes from <laughs> front, then we in big trouble. Yes. So we put our fillet. That nice hearty sizzle. Yes. I want to puree this with and. Uh, I'll take the lemon out. Then we're going to put the saumon. Our rice actually so, smells good over you here. see how you cook the filet, you baste it. And I love how you're basting it constantly. Yeah, this is nice. OK, this so is it's ready to, ready. ready to put back, Chef? Put it back five more minutes. OK. OK. The filet is good. You want to turn that down a little bit. That's it. So you, and turn, you, you turned do, off the way. Now they just cook one side. You're going to turn it. Ah, now you're turning it. Nice. OK. We're going to put this on the oven. OK. Now you're going to finish that sauce. OK, so more puree. So we're going to get uh, this. See, I put a little butter. You can a little butter. The butter. I'm going to put the rice. Now it really here. looks good. The rice in here. Now, now that's going to look good. Yes, yes it I does know. already, yes, Chef. What a wonderful addition oh, to our sauce. My god. And then you warm up this. You put a little bit of butter in here. So you're warming up the rice again. Yeah, and then now we're going to cook the saumon on the, on the um, Beautiful salmon. On the... Look on how the, it curls uh, up immediately. Yes. So that, that means we have a nice hot yes. pan. Hot pan, yes. Yes. Let me taste this. And again, even in its, its raw form, just beautiful, beautiful cut of salmon from Rostelli. A little bit more so. A little bit more butter, and here, what we have, sesame oil. Sesame oil. So we're gonna put a little bit of sesame oil. And what will this do to our Give sauce, a nice chef? flavor. Here, you, uh, you, you make a brown butter. Okay. The brown noisette. When was the butter that? is brown. That will give you flavor to the spinach. So brown butter. Okay, so first so make a brown butter. So the spinach, you put salt. Uh, no, not too much salt. You would like me to stir the spinach? Yes. Okay, this is finishing this beautiful sauce for our saumon. Very nice, flavorful sauce, but still light and simple. Don't overcook my spinach. Oh, don't Tia overcook? Maria. Okay, what is Your chef, we... your chef, to be yes. with me. Take it out, they cook. Okay, this, this is done. Take it out, take ah, it out. It's done. Cooked. Voila. See the saumon? Yes. Now, this is what you do a little bit of butter. Oh, butter. Yeah. Again, always butter and oil. Yes, because if you put on the oil, it burns. So okay. we have our sauce is ready, the spinach is ready, the potatoes is ready. Okay. These look the spinach wonderful. Spinach is ready. Spinach cooked in 30 now, seconds. Yes, now we're going to finish the rice. So the rice, you warm up the rice Interesting like this. Interesting how you're finishing it like See, this. See, with a little butter and yes. the juice. It doesn't look like this oven is working, is it? It is set to 400, 400. If this is 400, I bless my soul. It's not 400. <laughs> Probably 220 degrees. <laughs> we want to saute this like this. Put everything here. So the all carrot, of our yeah, the vegetables going to give a nice flavor. Okay. I just want to warm it up. That's it, OK? And I'm going to show you here how did you do this. So this is very rare. But it's good, it's very rare. Yes. But I show you how to make this. But we want it very rare, is that correct? Yes, we want it rare. Okay. Because it's a big piece of filet. It is a beautiful See? piece of filet. And how you're feeling it. Little like bit more, this looks good. Yes. 
The salmon looks wonderful. I've got a put the saumon mm. on this 200 degrees of oil. <laughs> it's Matthew Levine, he did that. He's, he, he put this <laughs> oven, I know. He wants he want to win me, so he put the oven at 220, then my cook is the bonfire shot his way. <laughs> I know who did that. It's a me. conspiracy. Now, our rice, George, I don't I want taste to overcook it. Taste, it. You yes, taste, taste, sweetheart. Taste. You cannot tell me it's ready if you don't taste. Yes, okay. You taste? You like to taste? Mm hmm. Good. Yes? And it's a little bit. Yes? A little bit butter. A little bit more. Water. Because we're looking for the yeah. consistency. And then we finish it. Yeah. Mix up this. Yes? I bring this here. I'm going to finish the sauce here. Very good. So I got two fillets. One is almost cooked here, but this one is bigger. Stay tuned for more from Rostelli Direct. When you go on the Rostelli Direct website, you choose from about 200 different items you'd like to have delivered. And within three to five business days, that product's delivered right to your door. Our product comes vacuum packaged in a resealable bag with a label that identifies exactly what it is with ingredients, nutritional facts, and in a lot of cases, a recipe that makes it very simple for you. This is the trick to make a sauce. Yes? You see this? Oh, you have to aromas. remove some of the grease. Okay. And you make a pen, pen sauce. Now, a little bit more. You keep a little bit that fat. So you re you removed some of the grease. And this is good. Good. Put it here on the rice. Good. Add and it. And I want to mix it up very nicely. So you put madeira. Okay. And then a little bit of the stock here. Mm. So to finish the sauce to make it shine, as your beautiful lips and eyes, we're gonna put a little bit butter like this. And now what we call. It's monte de sauce of butter. You see this filet? Yes. It look good. We're gonna put it in here. Right into the sauce. Right into the sauce. With We're the butter. We're gonna put this like this. I don't want to overcook this rice, chef. How are we doing on taste this? Taste it. Yeah, okay. Taste oh, you it. You gotta okay. taste. Okay. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Well, you gotta taste. You gave such a visible, you know, softball imagery in the beginning. I don't want to, ah, now to me that tastes very good. No? You're right, you're Am right. Am I right? You win that one. Okay, Woo. Okay, this is the filet, you see that? Look at that. Okay, and the Look sauce, that. chef, is beautiful. Look at, that. Look at that. We have our potatoes. The purple potatoes, and you seem to enjoy purple potatoes. It's a nice chef. presentation, it looks good. The saumon is cooked. Cooked beautifully. We got the rice, with yes. a real rice with the flavor. The like real this. rice. We're gonna put it like this, with nice. Some beautiful spring yeah. vegetables. Yeah, beautiful. Spring vegetable. Has then a nice little we don't want to take this saumon. It's cooked. Ah, uh, look how beautiful, crispy the skin is on that side. Oh, yes. And interesting, we must note you did not turn them. You did not no, flip them over when you cooked them. I didn't turn this beautiful saumon. Only on the one Scottish side. Scottish saumon. So we're gonna put this sauce here. You see, very light. Sauce very light, like this. With every beautiful food that you serve, you guys serve good wine here. We're very yes. lucky. And what do we, we have, have here? We have a Cham Chambertin from Bangangui. Cham Chambertin. 205 with a great year from Henri Rebourseau. In life, the only thing is good is woman, yes. good food, and good wine. We're going to give our guests of honor here. We were so kind to give me all this beautiful produce this to beautiful taste the wine. Party. So we pour a little bit on the wine. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, I love that yes. reaction. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay. A little bit. Now, we got to cut the meat, mm. cut the fish, taste the food, drink the wine. Let's start with the salmon. Let's start with oh. nice and yes. light. Okay. Nice and beautiful. So, beautiful salmon. You like Greg. the skin? You don't like the skin. Okay. Look at some more. It's cooked perfect. I want you to taste with a little bit of rice. You, uh, you have to taste. Here, I'll give you some. And this salmon is from your factory in the no, United States, correct, uh, right? Ah. Scottish salmon, the best of the best of the mm. best. Don't you know that? That is mm. wonderful. Beautiful, that good? light, very wonderful. It's like silk. It is so... Let's taste. Smooth. Very high in moisture, lots of omega-3s mm. in this Excellent. salmon. Mm. Let's wash this beautiful salmon mm. with a Excellent. little wine. Excellent choice from our director, Stephen. Wonderful, we wonderful want to, choice uh, of wine. We uh, want to thank Steve Horn and his company to give us such yes. beautiful wine. To Stephen. Yes. To Ray Rastelli. George Perry. To Ray Rastelli, who's going to make a deal after we finish tonight. 
And steak. I'm going to have free meat for uh, free beef and free salmon for six months. Yes. And yes. I will be fine. Look, he just created Look his at own. That. He was smiling before. Now he start to cry. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> just, we're honored that you're doing this with us. Do you mind if I just dig Let's right into this here. beautiful The thing? meat is cooked to perfection. It, it is. It's it nice. It is wonderful. Mm. That's the finest steak I think I've tasted. Yeah, let me taste this meat. Wonderful. And you know, mm. the your meat, simple, mm. simple the meat, technique. Meat is delicious. Let us toast to all of our partners today on the Chef's Kitchen for making a wonderful celebration for us all. Thank you. Ray Rosselli, Chef George Perrier. Thank I, you thank so you. much. Nice, nice to have you on the show, and thank you for your generosity, and thank you for your beautiful produce. Thank you, George. Chef's Appreciate Kitchen. It. Rare ahi tuna beurre blanc, New York strip steak au pois. Now you can cook these recipes at home with the same quality meats and seafood we sell to your favorite restaurant. Ristelli Direct will ship to you our prime meats and fish with just a click or call. Ristelli Foods has supplied the top hotels and restaurants with superior products for over 35 years. Instantly flash frozen, our products last up to one year in your freezer and exceeds the USDA standards. Visit RistelliDirect.com and order today. You'll love the convenience, but you'll love the taste even more. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. Craft services provided by Garces Trading Company, a European-style gourmet market where you can enjoy delicious bistro fare in a bright, airy setting. Flowers on the set provided by Nature's Gallery Florist, distinctive floral arrangements with European flair. I was very impressed with the filet, the filet, the, the texture, and the filet, the cook it real good. It was nice, medium rare inside, so it proved the quality of the meat. It's got blood, and the salmon was absolutely delicious. And then you see, when we cooked the salmon, we didn't even turn around. We cooked it and went on the skin only, then not to, to, to hurt the meat of the salmon. But it was, I have to say, it was really nice.